Hi guys, this is Elise and Lottie again. We're going to talk about the stages of sleep. I was initially going to talk about sleep in general, but I keep making these videos that are super long. So we're going to just try to stick to the actual stages that you go through during a sleep cycle. Um, so sleep, like many of your other functions in life, is part of our circadian rhythm. Um, circa comes from the Latin around and uh, adian comes from diem, uh, or the Latin word for day, so around the day, um, largely governed by light. Um, so if you've messed up your sleep cycle, uh, go spend all day out in the sun and then try to go to bed a little bit after dusk and you'll wake up around dawn. Um, it's actually the way we're programmed to function, which is kind of cool. Um, so let's talk, when you start to lie down, um, and you close your eyes and you're still clearly awake, you're in a relaxed state. If you had an EEG hooked up to you, you would see alpha waves. Um, and uh, they'd look kind of like what I put on the screen there. Um, sorry, my um, tablet stopped working. So I've been doing this with the mouse and then just kind of have, are, I'm having the pictures appear. So sorry about that. Um, and then after a few minutes, you would fall into stage one sleep. Um, and stage one, uh, where did my stuff go? There it is. Um, your waves are a little bit different looking. They're not alpha waves. Uh, this is called a hypnagogic state. Um, and you, you are asleep, but you'll start to have hallucinations. You'll start to have sensory experiences, um, that don't have any external cause or external stimuli. This might be um, a sensation of falling, um, your leg might jerk. Um, this is usually when people uh, report having been abducted by aliens. It's shortly after they've fallen asleep, so something to think about. Um, after 20 minutes or so, you'll pass into stage two. You are definitely uh, asleep now. Um, and uh, you'll spend about 20 minutes in stage two. And stage two, if you were hooked up to an EEG, you'd see these kind of sleep spindles, these bursts of energy. Um, but uh, you're not dreaming yet. Um, after 20 minutes, you'd head into stages three um, and four. These are your slow wave sleep stages. This is what you call deep sleep. Um, you're not dreaming. Um, but stage four is sort of when night terrors or sleepwalking, uh, can occur. Um, and so these large slow waves that you would see on an EEG scan are called delta waves. Um, and then, so I think you spend about 40 minutes in total, uh, 30 to 40 minutes in total, um, in stages three and four. Then you go back up through stage three, back up through stage two, into REM sleep. So far, stages one through four have all been what they call non-REM sleep. Um, and so they might actually be referred to as N1, N2, N3, N4, because we make such a distinction between REM and not REM. Uh, REM stands for rapid eye movement. Uh, and if you look at somebody in REM sleep, if you look at their eyes, you'll see lots of movement beneath their eyelids. And if you looked at an EEG, you'd see that their brain waves actually almost look like they're awake. Um, there's lots of brain activity. Uh, REM sleep is when you dream. We spend about 25% um, of our night in REM sleep. Uh, it's called the paradoxical sleep because during REM sleep, um, you're you will be internally aroused, but externally calm. Um, most often the genitals are aroused, um, your heart rate increases, your temperature increases, um, but otherwise your body is completely paralyzed, uh, which is not what happens when we're awake. Uh, so, so that's why it's, it's typically called the paradoxal, uh, paradoxal sleep. Um, this cycle repeats itself about every 90 minutes. Uh, there's been, and also interesting is that as the night wears on, 
uh, you spend increasingly more time in REM sleep and increasingly less time in stages three and four, um, such that your last couple sleep cycles, you might not even go into stages three and four. Um, let's see, and here's a little graph to show that. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, if you went to bed around midnight, um, you would spend increasingly less time. Uh, for middle-aged adults, it's common to wake up um, during parts of the night, um, and and sometimes that and that's normal, um, and it's normal to just to go straight back to sleep after that. Um, what else do I have to say here? Oh, you need sleep. You need. REM sleep and people that have been deprived of uh, getting their full eight hours um, or seven to nine, seven and a half to nine hours of of sleep have been shown to fall into REM sleep um, faster and faster. You will also accumulate sleep debt um, when you do deprive yourself of enough sleep and you your body keeps an accurate count, uh, especially of REM sleep debt, for about two weeks. Um, and after two weeks, it's just sort of gone. Um, but your body will try to catch up on the REM that it missed um, for about two weeks. Uh, so that's what we've got on sleep. Make sure you get a good night.